Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. We are back with the next lab that is username enumeration via response time. So till now we have given it with a different response and a subtly different response. But now it is based on the time. Okay. Let us see what exactly this is. Okay. And let me study this. This lab is vulnerable to username enumeration using its response time. Okay. To solve the lab, enumerate a valid username, brute force this user's password, then access their account page. Okay. Your credentials. So they have given the credentials, the username and a password, but they want us to, you know, enumerate a different username. They have given two different lists, usernames and passwords. So we already uh, have those lists here. I mean, I have copied those lists here. Okay. So just for our convenience. So, okay, let us directly access the lab. So here is the lab. Let us go to the my account. Yeah, let us give the username and password which is given here. Okay, just like this, control V and the password also Peter. Okay, and hit on login. So this is logging as in, okay. So this is just like that. Okay, let me ta uh, put the traffic to burp. And so our, uh, you know, uh, thing is that we need to check with each and every uh, username available here. So enumeration, obviously enumeration means we need to check these, all these things. Okay. So let, I have logged out and let me go to my account. And again, I'm trying to log in. Let me do one thing. I will give the same username. Okay. But the password uh, I'm going to give a b c d and let us see what error we will get. Okay, without this user, this username also I'm going to give a different one. This this something like a random string. Let me hit login. Okay, invalid username or password. This is not telling whether the username is invalid or password is invalid. Okay, this time let us give the right username and a wrong password. A b c d and hit on login. Even this is not telling us we, the username is correct, but here it is telling invalid username or password. So this means it is not exactly telling which is the right one, but okay, we will do one more thing. So let me give a long string, something like a very big one. Just I'm typing in like this okay. and hit on login. Okay, we will do one thing. We will take this and uh, P E T E R. We will intercept this just like that. We are unable to find what exactly it is. Okay, we will intercept this, login. Yeah, we will take this to the repeater, turn it off. Oh, you have made too many incorrect login attempts. Please try again in 30 minutes. We are not going to wait for 30 minutes, but we definitely have a trick. I think there is some hint here uh, we did not go through. This is the hint. To add to the challenge, the lab also implements a form of IP based brute force protection. Okay. However, this can be easily bypassed by manipulating HTTP request header. So this is the thing. There is a IP based brute force protection. Whenever we send multiple requests in one second or two seconds or three seconds, right away so this uh, will be blocked i mean too many login attempts will be blocked okay so that's the reason we are getting uh, too many incorrect attempts and this is based on the ip uh, let us do one thing so i all i know one particular header that is x forwarded for header okay so this is an x forwarded for header so here you can see this is the mozilla site so the X forwarded for uh, request header. So this header is placed in the request. It's a de facto standard header for identifying the originating IP address of a client connecting to. Okay. So this header tells about the IP address from where that particular request came in. Okay. This header is included in the request from the client, which is going from the client to the server. So let's do one thing. Let us go to this repeater and see whether we have that header here. Uh, let me check X forwarded for. No, we don't have that X forwarded for header here, 
but what we are going to do is we are going to add it manually of course verb is there for that only now hit on send so this is the username right username and right password yeah even we give the right username and right password it is even telling that uh, th there are too many uh, incorrect attempts so now we will do one thing uh, just hit on enter uh, before that let it let me copy one of this thing and paste it here just like that to identify that's all okay you go here and x for worded for and here uh, let me give a number like one let us see what is happening here so the request got changed in any form this doesn't look any ip ad like any ip address right so one won't be anyone's ip address just let me give something like okay so this looks like an ip address right so let me hit on send it is redirecting us to the account so here it is clearly stating that we are going to the account we are getting logged in okay let me change this password to d and let me uh, send it again so invalid username or password so it says invalid username or password okay this means this ip address uh, one time we gave wrong password okay i'm going to add one more string invalid username or password and this is the second time we have given the wrong password let me uh, add some more strings and hit on send so again it is telling the invalid username or password again we am going giving something here and hit on send so here there is one match after four wrong passwords it is going to block our ip so by default it is understanding our ip when we specify this uh, x forwarded for it is taking and i mean it in a sense the server the server is validating this particular headers value it is considering this ip address as the original ip address whenever we are going to send a request we are going to manipulate this one only this one okay let me change this to two just like this a new ip address this is there is something called response time right so the lab itself says there is some response time so why are response timing okay uh, this means uh, there is some uh, lag in the response let, uh, let me type in a very big string here control v 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 ha finally okay uh, let me take this and hit on send so till now we are getting 373 milliseconds okay hit on send did you see that it took 2 seconds see 2 seconds 514 milliseconds so it took 2 and half seconds uh, let me again increase this and let me change the ip address to 3 and send did you see the time delay we got 5 seconds delay let me put something here this is not the right username now ok let me hit on send yo we are right away getting the response uh, 3 uh, milliseconds 368 milliseconds so this means so whenever the username is correct password is, is getting validated but when the username is not correct then the password is not getting validated okay and when there is a long string in the password we can confirm that the username is the right username okay so let me take this to the uh, intruder and so we have the x forwarded for header okay here so let me change this to uh, this 9 and start it from 0 okay i'm starting this from 0 so uh, and uh, let me change okay before that so here username and uh, password so we are not going with the password now so whenever the username is right then uh, it is going to give lot of a time lag between the response because the password is too long to check okay password has become very big string it, it will take some time uh, to check you know uh, at the server end so we are getting a delay in the response so now we are what we will do we will give this as one payload and this one as the other payload okay so these are the two payloads that we are going to give now so this uh, so here one will be changed and there will be a different username here two and different username so every time the ip address will be changing and we are going to check the if 
the username is correct or not if the username is correct we are going to get a time delay in the response as you can see, as you already know that so let us go to the attack type now and check which fork so it is going not going to check the combinations something like that but it is going to check one value from this and one value from this and if if one is replaced there will be a different value for each and every different uh, payload submitted here it is going to change the number here okay so that is how we are going to give so go to the payloads for the first one so the first one is our uh, ip address okay uh, for that let us go to numbers and here in the numbers we are going to start from 1 all the way till 100 because uh, here we have uh, 100 usernames okay let us check whether we have 100 usernames or not oh 101 okay we have 101 usernames here so we are going to check with all these usernames so we'll, we will keep it to 101 from 1 to 101 and in one step okay payload set second payload so the second payload would be directly uh, a list a simple list that we have copied just now so let me hit on start attack yeah i think we are not getting the response time yeah uh, sorry uh, column response received so we should be getting oh here you can see there is a username called user so this got a five uh, seconds uh, response delay let me go down all the way so the attack is finished so let me go on all the way uh, but nowhere we got any other thing so this is the right username this means uh, when this username is being checked i mean this this is being validated and the next check is password so as the password is very long it is taking a lot of time to give a response let me take this uh, response okay right click on this and send to the intruder again let me hit on clear we are going to clear all the payloads and we are going to set the payloads as per our convenience again let me change this number to something like this and let us start from zero okay so username is the right username but we are going to check with the password type in just like a b c d so we are not going with the response time now we are directly checking with the uh, particular password as response time will help us with the with enumerating the username but we are now there will be a different status uh, uh, i mean the response status will be different so we are going with that okay and yeah obviously again we need to uh, check this as a payload as one of the payload positions because too many uh, re wrong requests too many invalid credentials submitted we are going to get a 30 minutes delay okay so that's the reason we are uh, using this uh, x forward header everywhere uh, and the, obviously the this should be which fork and uh, let me uh, change this first one so here one, from all the way from 1 to 100 with one step and the second payload that is the password so this should be a simple list the list that we are going to paste we have copied already so that list we are pasting here okay these are all the passwords and i don't think we need to give anything else just hit on start attack so this should start the attack and let us see so we are not going to get any time delay or something like that we are going with the status just just the status of the uh, request okay anyway did we get yeah see we got a two, 302 uh, response everything is a 200 response as they are invalid passwords let me go with the one and go to the response invalid so here we can see invalid username and password so yeah but when it comes to this particular where is this yeah this one uh, we are not getting any uh, invalid so zero matches here see you can see uh, it is already in the response uh, tab so yeah it is directly redirecting to this so as i said right click i don't want to manually do everything all the time where is this your response in browser and okay copy go to the browser and open the new tab paste enter yo you have solved the lab congratulations you have solved the lab yeah between uh, before you just leave uh, I would like to tell one more thing. Uh, see, uh, 
this is not something like we need to first enumerate the username or then only we need to go to the password this is not like that okay so we can in this response if you can see uh, uh, sorry uh, let me display load positions so if you can see here so we so we already know there is an ip check going on okay there is there is an ip check going on so we already placed this x forwarded for and we can do a brute force attack by taking the cluster bomb which is going to you know uh, the attack type would be cluster bomb and it is going to check the all the uh, combinations of both these uh, usernames and passwords we already have those usernames and passwords in the burp suit uh, uh, here uh, it, it has provided right so we can take these and we can go for a uh, cluster bomb attack the both of the things are helpful okay so but uh, this lab uh, it says the time delay right so the time delay that is how it happened now so i have shown in that way only time delay but you can also directly brute force this okay brute force these two things and that will just automate just just one click once you stick, click on the start attack it will check all the things but it is going to take lot of time because uh, all the way from 100 uh, 101 usernames and 100 users so all the combinations of those two uh, 100 and 101 would be somewhere around uh, uh, 10,000 maybe 10,000 or 11,000 maybe so that's the reason uh, I did not choose this uh, I mean 10,000 and 11,000 in a sense uh, 10,000 payloads okay 10,000 combination of these two payloads I, I mean 10,000 re requests okay so it will take a lot of time you know so that's the reason I choose in this way and there is a lot of thing to explain that's the reason I have choose uh, to solve in this way okay yeah thank you and congratulations on solving the lab have a great day